Jam. I'm George. And today we're going to be reacting to Cardi B's official music video for a brand new song called Oh. So this song came out a few hours ago and it's already got just over 2 million views. I don't know what to expect to be honest. I'm I'm not the biggest Cardi B fan. Um, I do like some of her things but I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I like some of Cardi, Cardi's stuff. I really liked... I like it like that. <laughs> I liked WAP, it like grew on me the more I listened to it. I was like, yes, bitch, yes, bitch, yes. But I think this is gonna be like kind of the same WAP vibes. I haven't seen anything though, so we'll just have to see. With me and Cardi, we've got this relationship like a love hate. Like, I do like her music, but I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of her as a person. Um, I think she's so funny. No, she is funny, she's but hilarious. just different things she's, you know, said in the past, which I don't agree with, but... I don't even know. Before we jump into this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos all of the time. And while you're at it, why don't you hit that notification bell so you get notification every time we release a new video. And make sure you drop us a comment below. Let us know what you want us to react to in future videos, or if there's anything else that you want to see from us. Let us know below. Right, let's just jump in. The Barbies on her head just it moved the mouth moves. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I have to give it to her, like, she does, you know, put in the work for the music video. Like, she's not just standing there, like, shaking her off. She is. I know she is shaking her yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, she's, you know, dancing with the others. Yeah. She's quite good, isn't she? I like the aesthetic. Well, she was a stripper. I mean, a, what do you call it? Exotic dancer. I know, but, like... So, she's got she, the moves already. Yeah. She's already had them. I just love the aesthetics of it all. Every <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that those like piano notes? Dun, 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 dun. Dun. I kind of wish they were more off key. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know, um, uh, untuned piano? Yeah. It, it's like, dun, dun, dun. yeah. Like, I kind of wish it was more, do you know, like sticky, like ooey. Do you know what I mean? They always think her, her in, like, the, the backing that she uses always, is always like really simple. There's like, it's not even a chord, is it? It's just a bam, 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 like you said, and then beats, mm -hmm. and then and then vocal. She's probably just um, wanting to emphasise her voice, you know, like yeah. what she's saying instead of heavily producing. Yeah. It. Which is good, but then at the same time, I don't know. If I I'd... have to like go back and like rewatch her things because, like, I I just find it with rap in general and like hip hop, but like. Everything's just so so fast, and, and also you're like, lingo. yes, you're getting with the vibe, but then like you miss all of what she's saying. But like they, I'm not being rude, but they have like a different language, and especially like Americans. Do you know what I mean? Like even like being in Liverpool, I don't you mean know the, the colloquialisms the that yeah, they yeah. use, the slang that they use. I just, I I don't really know what she's on about. Have I seen that bottle before? No. I think I've held it. <laughs> I like all the scenes. Yeah. Did you got pink eye? Ooh. I don't know about the end of life. I want us more. So that was our reaction to Cardi B's up official music video. I think I kind of liked it as it went on. I think if I listened to the song just like with its audio, I don't think I'd be a fan of it. I think the music video kind of makes it for me, which I think a lot of Cardi B's songs kind of do. They're amplified with the visuals, yeah. yeah. I did like it, but for me it was on one kind of note all the way through. There wasn't any like breaks or anything. Or like, do you know some rap artists, they go like, and a da 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 da. That are, you know, like breaking up the words kind of thing. Yeah. But no, she looked really good. Like, I, I did like 
the melody bit, you know, like the piano bit. Mm. Um, but I do wish it was more off key in a way. But no, the visuals really were really good, and I'm really impressed at how like good she can dance. I liked it. Like I love listening to Cardi B to like work out. She like really like pumps you up, and you're like yes, yes, working out to it. It's good. Um, I really love the visuals of just like everything that she does. It's just amazing. The colors, the dance moves, it's just insane. And for me, like. <clears throat> When I first listened to Cardi, I was a bit like, hmm, because mm, mm, of like the language that she uses and um, the the things that she's talking about, it's not really appropriate for everyone. But male rap artists rap about fucking bitches all the time, so why can't female rap artists? Why is there a double standard mm -hmm. um, kind of thing? And you know that that kind of me kind of sitting down and thinking about my thought process of why I didn't particularly like her her music really kind of like broke me out of that thing because obviously it's a narrative that's been put on me through the society and my surroundings of like you know you need to be covered up don't show your tits you know you know don't be dancing provocatively, don't speak like that, like, like you shouldn't speak I, like I that. I know what you mean, but the thing is, like, this... So, like, male rap artists, yeah, they do use language, which I don't agree with, and, like, you know... They objectify things. women, so why yeah. can't women objectify men? That's fine, men but receiving? rap artists and male rap artists aren't doing it all the time. Like, if you look at the artists and their songs and their, like, whatever, they're not doing it all the time, whereas Cardi B... It's constantly No, doing I that. feel like certain well, rap no. artists do it <clears throat> all the time. No, well, you might think so, but I think they break it up. Whereas her, everything she's doing is either about sex or about taking her clothes off yeah. or about, like, fucking or the N-word or this or that. And it's kind of like, yeah, that's okay. But I think, like, if you look at, like, other rap artists, you can do like rap about other things rather than sex and be successful do you know what i mean yeah you can but that's like kind of why i came to appreciate cardi b more because i recognize the way that i was thinking is a way that has been put on me through my surroundings and who i grew up with and this and that and the other um and i chose to reject those then and listen again with an open mind and open open ears and when when i released all those feelings those those pre-meditated thoughts and opinions about what she's um doing it made me appreciate her more because you know why shouldn't you know why is there this double standard within music but if you if you want to do that if it's not a man dictating you or anybody dictating what you should be wearing and what you should do and how you should write your songs and what messages you speak like because that's all on here that's here be that badass bitch yeah, but, if like, you want to do that time, you though. go do that yeah but that's just it's, it gets really repetitive like you had rap <clears throat> you had some other things she did before that you've got this and i just feel like they're all the same and they're kind of she's getting the same and i get the message and i get what you're saying but I just feel like kind of switch it up a bit, do you know what I mean? It's the same beats and the same kind of message, like, I don't know, just kind of... Has she released an album now? Because WAP and this new song, Up, they're probably for the upcoming album. I want something different and hopefully she will, like, next time. Like, I enjoyed this video more than WAP because, I don't know, WAP was just a bit... I know, I preferred WAP more. Much. I just thought it was a bit too extreme in a way, whereas this I enjoyed. But why? Like, think about your thought process. I don't know, I, like music for Why? me, I just don't. Like, well, you, you might want to. sit to. there and, and de really decompress there, your, your, your thoughts and things because it, it like, helps you become more no, rounded I don't want to in, sit. Your, in your, your thought process I don't want to sit everything. watching Cardi B and a bunch of other women, like, in thongs, like, slut dropping and shaking their arse while talking about wet arse pussies, do you know what I mean? That's well, just... You're the only guy. You're one of the only ones. Well, no, because one, I didn't enjoy the song. I didn't really enjoy the video, and people are saying like uh, women's rights and whatever. And yeah, that's but a fine. male rap artist can have female dancers grinding up on them, and it'd be okay. Well, I don't watch 
male rap artist videos and also that was like ch times are changing do you know what i mean you're not we're not stuck in one place and when you're comparing the past like i feel like you kind of you still think it's like now where it's not like these rap artists it's kind of years ago like things have changed dramatically these past couple of years but like I wow. don't, I personally, I don't think they've changed I that much. I do think much. they have. I feel like male rap artists still talk a lot about sex and about women. Yeah, and they do. So objects. do other rap artists. Nicki Minaj's done it. Yeah. And Megan has done it. Yeah, all, because... All rap artists do it, so they don't just say men yeah, do it. Yeah, no. What I'm saying is, in recent years, the female rap artists have now come out talking about sex, talking about the female body because they are taking ownership they're taking it back why should that man be able to sit there and sing about my body and about you know what he wants to no, do I'm with my body because my body it's the message behind it yeah that is part of no, the message wet off, no, pussy, i want to feel you wet that i don't like that message but what i'm wet. saying is she's taking it back from the men yeah but she could do it like instead of talking about like how wet her pussy is but why why do you like like men don't be like oh like talking about like their fucking like i don't know fucking things like i'll take you shit. to the candy shop i'll let you lick me lollipop yeah and Nicki, go ahead yeah, don't yeah. you stop Nicki Minaj has done something about like going down on me and other people like missy Elliott has referenced like things like that's reference that's just like little innuendo but when you're blatantly saying like my wet ass being being i just i find it <laughs> quite crude in a way like i know that's who she is and I it know. is crude it is crude I'm, i agree with you it's crude but that's because society's made us think that it's unacceptable to talk about but in the sex, there is, there's it's a line. unacceptable no. to talk about our bodies no it's okay to talk about sex but when bodies. you're I, she crosses the line too often like that whap yeah it's a good like beat and song and i think megan is the one that really makes it and the video is okay nothing i would watch or really listen to but the message behind it i just think she kind of crosses the line a bit too much I just wanted to like tone it down a bit and just kind of bring another side out see but that's probably what people have told her to do her whole life and why why should she have i don't to? really think they have like she's why? been a stripper then she did bozak yellow or whatever the hell it was called that was very out there and all of her videos so far and all of her songs have been very like extreme in a way do you know what i mean yeah but what i'm talking about is the themes that she's she's obviously grew up in like a place where it is all sex it is all this it is all like about you know what she's singing about so why that's her story so let her tell it but listen like her audience as well it's not just like adults and teenage well adults it's also like teenagers and kids do you know what i mean listening to this and like i know like parents yeah but you know of... females grow up in this thing like you should be ashamed like for for feeling these things it for men it's it's a lot different like you're more accepted with with your your, your sexual feelings women are more repressed um because it's disgusting you know and it goes back where women were told that they were hysterical and doctors used to re like like a medical release to make them less hysterical it's all stigma or surrounding know, George, female that was sexuality back in the day. Like, that was no no back, no no, no, no it's not back in the day no, it no it's is, still though. now growing where, where up where the hell females... have you ever heard that, that happening what? you've never heard that no it's a hit. not it's, that's modern history. day yeah, that's history, history back in the day, not now. And I feel, yeah, time yeah, changes. Yeah, but history, but don't history like still song. affects us now, today. Yeah, but don't, like, relive it all the time. I feel like people are just reliving the past all the time. Just move the fuck on. Like, yeah, you need... Move the, on. Just yeah, just move on. Do no, I don't to. think that's the a right... The, like. Yeah, the past you need to reflect on and learn and grow from what's happened. But the future is about just moving on and making it better. Like, so she's moving comparing. on. She's saying, you know, okay, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna own my right. body. I'm gonna own my sexuality. Okay. And and you know, here you go. And I'm I'm listening and I'm taking them on board. But I'm just saying, yeah, women should be like, you know, showing who they are and expressing what they want. But when you're in a public in the spotlight, like Cardi B, maybe just kind of like this video is okay. The song's okay. It's got a bit of like. 
some words in it which I didn't agree with, but it's okay. But I'm just saying things like WAP, for example. It's just, for me, it was just a bit out there, do you know what I mean? But I found it quite funny, to be honest. No, I think I'd rate this like a 3.5 out of 5. Like I said, I did enjoy the video more than I enjoyed the song. I don't know if I listen to this again, but I do know if this is going to be like a hit. Whereas like, do you know what I mean? Where I might, it might kind of grow on me, but yeah, I enjoyed the video a lot. Um, I enjoyed it. I really like the aesthetics of everything. Um, it's not my favorite. I'm going to rate this like a 3.5 out of 5. I enjoyed WAF a lot more. And um, my ultimate favorite Cardi B would have to be I like it like that. Females, you do you, you know. Fuck the patriarchy. Fuck, fuck everyone. As long as you're living your best life, that's the most important thing. I totally agree. What's our reaction? Make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you leave us a comment below. Let us know what you would rate this music video out of five. I mean that you agree with me. <laughs> ben. Ben. Mm, okay. Bye. Oh wait, bye. <laughs>